Oh, we ready to crank this baby up? Let's crank this crank baby up. Go. Go. Merry right. Christmas to all and to Merry all a good Christmas. night. What? That I had a great Christmas. Uh, a great Christmas? I did. What is the, what is the uh, negative side of Christmas? There's not I, one. I don't, yeah, listen, yeah, you oh, can't even wait. You, well, and you you making sure that don't happen. Just JD, one stride you know at a time. You know what I'm doing right now? Oh, Tell I me did. what you're doing. This is one of the things you never do, J.D. Don't try to work out on a QB under a table that's too short. <laughs> it's a short bust. table? Okay, because it's killing my knees every one time when I hit it. <laughs> Here, I'll lift, right. I'm hey, lifting hey, the hey. table oh, with yeah. my knees. Oh, I'm, yeah. Now oh, you're getting some work out. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, check that out. Go ahead. So, so you so, ate a lot. Look at him. Speaking of weight gain, have you? how much weight have you gained, <laughs> Johnny D? Since when? Since, Since Christmas. The last two weeks. There might have been a it, it was a pound difference too. between well, that's good yeah that, that's really good because me myself since hunt season oh it's been started, tough i have gained 11 pounds 11 pounds. i haven't checked since i hadn't been working out in my cubie here for a f couple of weeks i've got lazy i probably gained about 10. <clears throat> i had the first hey, hey, it's all right here it's all right there all right there in in that, that old boy big gut i i had the first piece of pie i've had in Four months or something. Oh, First okay. dessert. Uh, what kind? Oh, pecan oh pie. banana caramel pie. Oh, ooh. I had a one I piece. Did. I understand why you did uh, And I said, <laughs> it's Christmas. Banana caramel. Uh, I, I understand why you did it. I that said, does. on Christmas, all rules yeah, are out the right. door. Well, that's where I'm at. Right. You know, <clears throat> when, when you get to the point to where you don't need a piece of homemade pie, that's when you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, <laughs> I don't want to be on my deathbed one day. Wishing I'd ate a piece of that pie. Yeah. <laughs> Just say it's reward. Now guys. that's when you need to check your pulse and see if you ain't dead. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> if you I, turn down pie, I ate pie, fried <laughs> shrimp. Potato casseroles. Uh, I just cake. went for it. <gasps> Crescent rolls. I ain't ate white bread. I smoked and, a bologna log. Hey, Ooh. smoked a bologna. Uh, log? That's one of the best things I've ever had. Was a smoked <sighs> bologna. You had to have a special bologna to smoke it though. You but can't listen, just, listen all of them won't work. A special <laughs> bologna. No, no, I'm special. serious. You have to buy the right type, or it will not. It won't. It, the, you can leave it in there for a hundred years. It won't take like who, who told you that? Huh? The guy that cooked the best I've ever ate. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Well, I must have had the right because it was good. Well, no, no, <laughs> it yeah, was good. Yeah. It's something about it has to be right, right bologna, mix, or it won't I absorb the them, smoke. Uh, the last hour, I mixed barbecue sauce with. Jalapeno jelly. Mm. Mm. And put on there. That, that sounds like a good glaze but to me. But here was the, the winner. I done your fried uh, duck fingers. Mm. That they wasn't none of that left. Oh. They, they, <laughs> they things, was gone. <laughs> you can, once you get on them, you can't get off of them. I got some fried Wait. shrimp waiting on me from Christmas. Leftover waiting. The first time I had that. Leftover this is fried over. shrimp. You know what to do with that, right? Eat it. Throw well, it in the garbage. You know how to warm it up to make it where it's crispy again? Air fryer, maybe? Well, you, I like cold shrimp. Oh, you eat cold, soggy fried oh, shrimp? Oh, I, I love no, all, no, all is, forms of shrimp I'll eat. Uh, I can't do cold, <laughs> soggy, next day fried shrimp. Well, how do you do it? Well, you, you get no, you a cookie sheet. Turn your oven up oh. high about 425. And put them in there. Just spray yeah. some Pam on there and throw them in there. Uh, I'd probably work on day old French fries. It probably would. It'd, uh, it'd crisp them back up. Yep. Day old French fries. There you go. Yeah. I'll make a new French fry. You didn't French fries with your shrimp? No, nah, our, our Christmas lunch every year is all the casseroles of every corn, potato, sweet potato, and then we do fillets and fried shrimp yeah mm -hmm. so big you, dave are you a casser casserole man nope <laughs> the only casserole i like is uh k's uh cheese and mac mac and cheese mac boys. and cheese oh i'll tell you mac something else cheese. i put on the grill that was good them apple something flavored uh them brock out of that moink box are those good Ooh, really yeah apple I, flavor you need to get it i you, have some oh I'll take i haven't them. eaten them yet i'll take oh. yes, no, I'll I'm, them uh, now you've got me interested <laughs> yeah because we had all the christmas for, i got a moink box for christmas right before and i hadn't broke it i, well, I ate some new york strips well a good brock good. is hard to beat i'm hungry now i ate some of them in germany mm. they're the best well no. i did at the at the robertson oh. christmas 
we had fried shrimp like y'all and i did two boston butts i smoked them for 11 mm-hmm. hours and he couldn't get <laughs> off of them and they were good so i had to get up at 4 30 on christmas morning and i put those butts on the smoker mm. and i walked back in the house and and sage my youngest my seven-year-old she was sitting on the couch staring at those presents <laughs> she read it and she looked at me she said daddy he came that's right santa came last night i said you barely made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> you barely made the cut. I can't yep. believe but it. She just sat there staring at those presents. I said, well, you need to go back to bed. She said, go wake up mama. I said, no. <laughs> not, no, at no, no wow. not at 4.30 in the morning. Not at 4.30, oh. no. Oh, I made my boys. My boys woke up like at 6, but the baby was still asleep, and mama said, no, nope, we're waiting on her to wake. We ain't waking her up yeah. early on Christmas yeah. and having her cry all day. Oh, them boys were forced to sit there for two hours and just wait <laughs> I, I felt bad i was like hey look my sister used to sleep in on christmas too man it's part man, of having johanna a johanna come stayed with us me and her was up drinking coffee well she wasn't drinking coffee i was and paulo she was the last one well, i didn't know y'all i said hey it's, it's christmas. christmas you christmas. gotta get on up i done up, cook right? breakfast mm. I do love Christmas. We opened oh, our presents, yeah. Did you get anything good? Yeah. Get you a fishing pole? I got, no. Nah, nah. That's I the got last some, thing. He got about 30 of them. <laughs> I got some, yeah. I got some tennis shoes. I got some cleaning stuff to clean my sea arc with, boat cleaning stuff. I got you uh, some SD cards. I'll stuff I need <laughs> SD cards, baby. Hey, well, you need them for uh, you oh, know deer it. deer cameras and such. I got it's always good to get those. What'd you get? I, my whole family got some rod and reels. Oh, we got a little, oh. well because my children are left-handed, and so that's becoming part of a problem in life. Because I don't like all my stuff's right-handed. So then, like if I take them fishing, they're turning stuff upside down and trying to do it left-handed. Oh. So they got them some nice little push button Abu Garcia. We're gonna go fishing. They didn't want to go fishing yet though. They were and I got me one too. Yeah, uh, I saw a hand one time. He he was reeled in a spinning rig upside with with the reel facing up. That's oh, what my yeah. kids do, and they'll turn the other one upside down so yeah. they can do it left. I'm like, this guy was a grown man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His name was Si. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. No. Uh, well, if you no. got him a spinning reel, it'd be just right for him. Everybody wants to put the handle on the other side of a spinning reel. Yeah, don't do that. That's what I do. Put put the handle on the left side. Uh-huh. What? That's oh, what that's what I do. That's yeah. the so way spinning reel left side, bait yeah. cast right side. Yeah, if you're, yeah. Yeah, that's right. If you're right-handed, you put the, the reel, I mean the handle on the left side. That's right. Yeah. Throw with your right hand. That's it. Reel with the left. Set the hook with your right hand. That's right. Set the hook with your right you hand. There you go. There it is. Christmas advice on your new rod they and reel. <laughs> well, they come like that. So first, I, first, figure out what hand you. And when you're spooling, and when you're spooling up a spinning reel, you get you a wet rag, and hold that line and and let that line come through that wet rag as it's going on that spinning reel. That way, you don't have all that memory. Yep. Or if you're on the lake, just throw it. That's in first the time I've ever heard that. I've never heard that. Just throw a spool in the live That's wheel. right. Well, do the same thing. I just, I, that, I, hey, you, can read, you can read it on there, and then what you do is, hey, you just let line out, motor down the lake with it, and just let it go that's all the way to the end, can't be any, end of it, and then read it in. That's right. Mm-hmm. Nothing on the end of the line, though. That's right. No line. Yeah. Just the line. Free It'll line. It'll take the twist. That out. works yeah. every, every time. And hey, it'll, unti- it'll untangle it, make it straighter than iron, and it takes it a long time before you before it starts kinking up on you. Yep. Yes. So it'll it'll get that. all that memory out. All right, That's now it. we need some comments on how you. <laughs> how do you spool, spool your, your riding reel? Or what side of the of the reel is your handle on? Yeah, yeah. I'm on whatever side my dad was I on because I just used his stuff my whole life. That's just like <laughs> a coffee cup. What side of the handle's a coffee cup on? Yeah, I drank coffee yesterday. It don't make any difference on coffee cup. It's on the outside. Uh, it don't make any difference because you pick it up with either hand. Well, if it was on right. the inside, it'd make a difference. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get uh, burnt. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there you go. I don't well, know hey. where we're going with this one. I don't know. Well, either. that's where. But Merry is. Christmas. Hey, they're trying to make it. Look, it's proof. eighty hey. degrees. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm wearing Christmas. short-legged. Boots. I got all like sweatpants and sweatshirts. No, that's shirts what for I Christmas and can't I wear. Drove up, go hunting. I look, and someone walks up and had baboon. 
Bermuda shorts. Say that ten times. Bermuda. Real yeah. Shorts. No. Yeah. Bermuda shorts. <laughs> Bermuda. It's 80 Bermuda. degrees. It was 66 when I got in the truck. Yeah. It's hot outside. Yeah, it's hot. And it's Christmas. Yes. But it is beautiful. Oh, it is. So oh, that's oh, baby, it a beautiful it's hot day. So. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring But it to ain't it. it ain't good for duck hunting. No. It ain't good for duck hunting. I told Stone we need to put the shotguns up, break out the rod and reels in the boat. To I told you to call God. Because I'm hey. sore lipping them all right now. Thank oh, you. he's sore lipping them all. Well, how you got to get them in the boat? Quit sore lipping them. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back after this. Yes. Si, yeah. you were using that QB in the first segment. Tell, tell us more. How? Hey, look, it's changed your life. This this machine is low impact. Okay, because I tried to get with the man over there that's in great shape. Okay, his were high impact. Okay, <laughs> this old body can't take a high impact workout. No, sir. Okay, so I went with the QB. I kept watching on television. And I got one, okay, and I work out one hour, okay? That's a Ten long minutes. time to do anything. It's no, no. Oh, yeah. Ten minutes, okay, I pedal the QB, okay, and I've got, I bought, uh, I had two, three pound and five pound. Taped and I put them together. together and worked out from a while with eight pound. But it, literally, I, literally taped them together. I taped them together. But anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm back to five pound. But anyway, I do 10 minutes, okay, <laughs> Pedaling on the QB, okay, and then I do five minutes, okay. As soon as I do the ten minutes, I do five minutes with the weight, and I do six exercises, and I was doing thirty reps. So hey, that's moving. That's moving. Okay, he pedaled so, across so the country. F- so for one hour, okay, I pedal forty minutes, and then for twenty minutes, I'm doing six. Well, I could tell you this: that's it is four, a, four times. It is a noticeable difference. Oh, it's oh, no. changed his life. Oh, no. I sit by him for two hours a week, really no, no. close, and because my breathing is a lot better. Yes. Okay, it really is, and all that is is that it does the cardio. What is it? Cardio. Cardiac. Yeah. Cardio. 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 Okay, yeah. that's your heart making your heart reach a certain number of beats. Oh yeah. All right. Well, here's okay. the deal. But anyway. The thing works. Okay. It works, baby. And yeah. you know what it is? QB is a compact seated elliptical that lets you get fit while you sit. It's low impact, as I said. It's easy on the joints. And its compact design fits almost anywhere. So you can stay active watching TV, working, spending time with your family, sitting on your recliner like Cy si does. And I work out in my recliner watching Live from Daryl's house. Live boys. from Daryl's house. Sitting, on, sitting on your bidet. <laughs> sitting on my bidet. That's one way oh to use God. it. Look, so every QB elliptical <laughs> comes with a 30-day risk-free trial. Visit QB.com slash duck to get $50 off any QB elliptical and free shipping with the promo code duck. Get the QB elliptical that's right for you. That's QB spelled C-U-B-I-I. Go to QB.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get $50 off your QB elliptical. Cy si loves it, and so will you. And it worked, boys. I learned about three years ago what the greatest crappie bait of all times is. What's that? It's that little crappie magnet. Yeah. That's it. Which I one? That, it's any of them. Yeah. But. Well, it depend on the water clarity, what color and all yeah, that. Yeah, but the yeah. best one we but, use is, okay, one thirty seconds. Yep. And it's salt and pepper color. It, it's a nickel, silver. It looks nickel. like a little minnow. Yep. So yeah. yep. well, the way me and Si do it, we do it old-fashioned way. We, I don't have one of these high-fluting uh, video game fish finders on my rig. You don't live scope? No. I refuse. Yeah. They I'm not, not going to do it. My dad has one, and he refuses to turn it on. Well, no, no. <laughs> all we need to know is the depth of the water. Where the brush pile is. Yeah. And then that determines how many counts we give it before we start reeling it. Uh, yeah. I will say this. I don't have a live scope, but I, I got a hummingbird that will tell me exactly how many fish. Right. And how big. <laughs> are on how that, big. that brush top. That's right. There's any how many there. and how big. That's it. I know that I'm at a disadvantage versus other fishermen because I, no, you're not. Because I don't... Uh, want to use that that video game thing because i see these boys on the lake they got their head down <laughs> yeah, they're just they're fishing but they ain't even looking at the water it's you know, good and well it's tunnel vision. yeah they're not looking at the water they're not looking at the trees they're looking at god's creation they got their head in that screen right. and looking, when they get home they got a, they got a crick in their neck yeah so they're for looking, those of you that don't know they're looking for that flash a live scope is the newest and hottest thing in fishing yeah 
that basically gives you eyes underwater. It's, li- it's live. And no. you can just look at no. a screen and know yeah. every, you can yeah. see the fish bite yeah. your bait. Yeah, yeah. then you say, you say, here you come, get ready, get ready. Here it comes. Hey, right. okay. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> and Godwin's into it. Oh, it's yeah. like playing a video game. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. I'm probably into it. Don't oh. talk with your mouth full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, but you're, so like, you don't use it? No. no. I'm against it. In 20 foot of water, it. we give it like a 14 count. Well, it depends on how yeah. tall the brush is. Yeah. But I'm just saying normally in, in 20 foot of water, you know, Utah I time, bet you there. You give it a 14 foul. count. Look, it's and about the time it hits 14, you start reading it. Everybody then you feel that little drag on it, and you say, there he is. Yeah. It gets heavy. It the best one is when it's in shallow water. Yeah. Then it's only depending on how deep the water is. And our hot hole, I ain't going to say. I ain't going to say the depth. But anyways, <laughs> it's, a, it's about a two count, and it's wham. Can you drop me a pen to that? No. Uh, no. 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 no I, oh, we don't. I got a little this blue is dot one, on Hey, my, if you go with us, I blindfold you. You going to blindfold me? I blindfold you to get you there and blindfold you to come out. God was the only other human I've told <laughs> where that's at. I'm telling you. I uh, ain't, I ain't never seen nobody else fish here. Crazy, ain't it? I know. Hey, well, you well just, then we keep it a secret. That's right. They right. fish it one way. Any place there. you can pull up to and throw 85 times in a row and catch about 85, a pound and a half copy in about 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, about, it was about, about an hour and a half. But yeah. Hey. It, you did <laughs> well, catch I'll one on every cast. I'll tell you how bad it was. Stone said, hey, we got enough. And I said, one more. Yeah. Well, I did that about 10 times. He's like old Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. I did that about 10 times. One more. And he Just said, hey. And I said, hey, one, do it. As soon as it hit, he hit, I hooked him. He just, Stone just flipped out that blade he's got on his belt, cut the line, yeah. cranked the motor up, said, I got to clean these. We're going to. Uh, I, I was having to jump up and down on that 65. <laughs> you didn't get the fish. <laughs> to, to close the, it. To, close to get the lid All closed. I did was take fish off hooks. <sighs> That's all I did. Ooh. It was every you don't, cast. I don't but you don't I need ca- to clean that much. I caught two fish that day. <laughs> so nah, we, come, we come back to the land, quick. it was 100. Oh, yeah. When Full I, limits, boys. Full limits, boys. Full, Full limits. limits. It'd take a while to clean 100 fish. It takes yeah. a long time oh, yeah. to clean 100. But That's, he's got a good partner. His yeah. little daughter. And not you. You ain't Well, no, no, them. his daughter. Okay. The yeah, bullfrog. Uh, hey, he fillets them. River. And she cuts the, the bones out of them. Well, that's good. And yeah. what did you do? You just oh, caught? I just caught. He just catching comes each. Meat. I'm he telling you, hey. Each. They said they'll be ready about 6 o'clock, and he showed that's up. That's why I told him this morning. I said, hey, when I was driving in this morning, and I told you too, I said, hey, I was thinking of how good I've got it. I said, I've really enjoyed being around you boys, you know, all these years, you know. Yeah, he did. He slicked us all. No, he did. Jay, Jay went, huh. <laughs> Oh, so you, <laughs> hey, he you had a – well, see, they're, they're putting out the decoys. I did it for 40 years. Yeah. Okay, now we trained them to do it. But the only thing about it is, hey, it. you got to watch these young bucks because they get mouthy when they get about 50. <laughs> the young bucks. Yeah, they were young bucks. Now they're turned up 50. Now they're getting, they're getting mouthy, boys. Uh, they're getting mouthy on you, boys. Uh, you know. Because you... the last thing we're sitting there talking about, talking about well, y'all ready to go? And Phil said, well, we ought to get him Jason, yeah. hey. Y'all can y'all can stay, but y'all gonna have to get the decoys up yourself. Phil said, "Well, we better go then." <laughs> stay, but no. Then he looked at there and he said, "Stone, you gonna pick up our decoys for us?" I said, "Yes, sir. Yes, I'm doing it right yep. now." Yep. So if we leave right now, uh, we'll pick them up. Otherwise, y'all right. You're yeah. on your own. You're on your own. You know. He said, "Tomorrow, uh, hey, I ain't coming." So we're gonna to have to get Burl. We're gonna to have to talk Burl in putting decoys out. I can't believe y'all actually want to guess it. I mean, it's the there's most, a reason we've been talking about fishing the, the whole time. Yeah, it's well, terrible now, hey, duck seat. and nobody. What else drank. have we got to do? I can't. I can't kill them sitting. I, well, I can work, I'll tell you this. I can work out on my QB, but I can't kill a duck when I, sitting in my recliner. When I got back to the to the barn where, where we parked the four wheelers today. That my waders were full of water, and it wasn't because <laughs> they didn't leak. I, I, a leak yeah. or I fell. It, it was sweat. <laughs> he done fill oh, his waders not- up because he sweated. It was sweat. Well, I understand because hey, look, after they went, okay, me and Stone had to make the rounds, okay, and he's got to put out all. The he had to fill up. He had to fill up my feeder with corn. 
Then he had to put out. <laughs> so you did all rice the bran. Yeah. yeah. Then he had to put rice bran out for all the bucks we're trying to keep in the area. Now, yeah. now, good oh. gracious. Stone, you working hard today. Mm. I oh. do it every day. It's not I, even I lunch time. <laughs> Dude, my day. I get up at three thirty. <laughs> we go. I we go duck hunting. I get back, cook lunch. Most of the time, I cook lunch, and uh, most of the time it's uh, fried duck mm. fingers, which mm. we have the recipe on. Which the, hey, on the Duck Commander you, YouTube, do. they are I, as good I think as, as good. deer steak. They're I'm good. Telling you. Oh, they're, they're good. delicious. They're delicious. You can bring some tomorrow. You brine them right. Oh no, they yeah. they're as good as deer steak. I'm telling you. So this uh, was all good. Now that's saying something because I, I love I uh, love my deer steak. But the first time I ate them, that he had fixed them, I said, wait a minute. I said, what'd you say this was? He said, that's duck fingers. I said, no, nah, you done cut up a darn yearling and fried deer steak here. <laughs> what are you talking about? I no. said, that ain't no duck. Oh, yeah. Phil said, hey, it's duck, idiot. Stone fixed it. That's <laughs> in Woody's. That's in Woody's we've been kidding. I but said, anyways, well, we'll go duck hunting. I said, I don't really believe that right till now. at least 10 o'clock every day, and that's uh, an early day. If, if that's it, early. If Phil lets us sleep. You know, now that the stuff got real hot, we just start unloading our weapons and leave without even asking Phil. That's right, hey. But I can see Phil looking down there. He's trying to figure out, he said, what is should all I that say noise? anything? No. Yeah, yeah, what's all that noise? I hear guns clicking well, shells It's 70 falling. degrees you, It's hard to even wear camouflage because oh, it's so hot. It's terrible. So uh, we'll get back. I'll eat, cook lunch. We'll eat lunch. And then most of the time, I'll sit on, uh, take somebody deer hunting that evening. And I get them a deer, and then my dad, I get home about seven. And then if we kill a deer, I get home about eight. Yeah, because then he's got to he's go working hard, drag him back, hunting. hang him up, gut him. Oh yeah, you know, you, cut his go pick off. you up on the yeah, rickshaw, hey, yeah, bring yeah, you yeah, back. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it's hey. it's tough. Look. Hey, you know, I I try, I do my best. I'm I'm a lot better than I used to be about. Yeah, I, I never want to complain about any of that. We're making memories, boy. That's making right. Making memories. Some Me, good memories. Stone, and BK are making memories. That's right. Okay. Because I've done told everybody in the family, when I die, that Bagara 6.5 rifle of mine, that's Miss BK's rifle. Yeah. You heard it here first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess other people have heard it second. It's documented. It's documented. documented. And, and I, I if anybody docu- fights I over that. Sure, I made sure that was documented. Please go to minute 20 of episode 98 <laughs> of the right. Duck Call right. Room. That's right. BK, and you, know, and you get that rifle. Yeah, you That's know it. who owns this rifle. That That is... I mean, that holds up in a court of law. Yeah. Well, we're going to take another break, and we'll get back to... God, we're on a second break. A second break already. Hey, and who flying. knows we're what we're going to talk yeah. about next? Who knows? J.D., I've been all over the United States. You know where some of the finest people I ever found is at? Where? Kentucky. Kentucky's a good place. Right. Hey, look, you know the reason why? Because, hey, my wife is from Kentucky. Your wife's from Kentucky. Yep. Well, and unfortunately, Kentucky kind of got... Yeah. Well, they they got Storm. put into some stuff right before Christmas. I know my aunt lives in North Tennessee, and it was five miles from her house. There were some bad storms, just awful stuff, especially around the holidays. And we hate it for y'all, but we've got some friends over at Samaritan's Purse. Greatest people you'll ever meet. Okay, who are look, really helping they go, out. They literally go all over this world, okay, when there's a disaster of any type, okay, and they rush to help. Mm-hmm. Okay, they actually become the hands and feet of Jesus Christ here on this earth, and they're out there sharing the gospel and showing them through what they do. They're loving the people. They're helping them out of rough places, out of disasters. We Our expenses here in Monroe with the flood, okay, they showed up helping people tear, you know, sheetrock out, replacing it and all this stuff, but they do it all over the world. Yeah, you know, they did it in uh, for the uh, down on the Gulf. Yeah, you know, when it hurricane hit, they've done it now for the storm release oh. that's going on. They've done it everywhere. So these people in Kentucky, Tennessee, all up there, we love you guys. And you know, some of them are just starting the road to recovery. And Samaritan's Purse is going to be there to show them the love of Christ. We hope that you'll join us in praying for these people. That's what they need most. But if you can, donate or volunteer to support these urgent needs. So why don't you go on over to SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to donate and learn how you can help the tornado victims. Again, that's SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to see how you can help. 
<laughs> so there's this guy <laughs> there's this guy that we've been hunting with for for years you know in a in a small area in arkansas he's famous very small area or big kind of like when phil run up on uh he he said that that women do not have whiskers except for small pockets in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I had a night that had a beard. Oh, me! T- my great lovely grandma lady. had a lovely nice lady. Beard. Okay, lovely lady. Yeah. The reason she had a beard, hey, she worked like a man all her life. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Good and I mean that's great. just the truth of it. She worked like a man, so she had a beard. I mean, how how thick? Oh, woman I ever met. How, how thick? How thick was the beard? Oh no no no! She had to. Hey, she shaped. Huh. I'm serious. She had, you know, cause she worked on the farm all her life. Okay, yeah. they, right. they had cattle, pigs, all this stuff. You know, she, <laughs> she worked like a man. Okay, yeah. hey, if you work, so what you're saying is, if you work like a man, oh, if you work like a man, you'll have. And a beard, you're a woman. Me. You yeah. you fix and grow a beard. Hey, yeah, she did. <laughs> Yo, that's what I attributed. Then how did I get a beard? Well, no, no, I mean, hey, I, I'm just saying that's what I attributed to was work. Okay, I had to, I had to get that hey, joke in on myself. Maybe it was, maybe it was some did. of them squirrely genetics y'all got over. Well, there. hey, maybe. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, I go with my theory. Okay, that uh, you work like a dog. You know, you love to be a dog. That's it. <laughs> yeah, work like a man, boy. Hey, that's it. So, well, anyways, uh, uh, biological theories from Uncle Si. <laughs> Back to you, Stone. So. <laughs> this, anyway, this guy that we've been knowing for years, uh, he he was childhood friends with with my father in law Al, and uh, his real name is is what William Bill Bill, Bill Bum Red Shoes. Bill called him Red, Red Shoes, Shoes yeah. Billy Red Shoes, and then that later transformed into. Red dog, Red dog for the old school Duck Commander hunting videos. He's Red on like the Phillips. cover of well, Duck they, Commander 4, isn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's one of the original because <laughs> they had that dog, that red dog. I'm uh, sorry, it is nice. Well, they called him Billy Red Shoes because he wore a, wore those red Converse. Yeah. Oh, those good tennis shoes. The Red Sox was his favorite. He, he was team. part of the, the famous butt whooping story yeah. when Phil lined everybody up on the car. He said, "If you ever want to come back here, that's the best one ever. Yeah. You take your butt whooping like a man." Yeah. I, I told, I told Al, I, I said, know "Hey, you your friends, hey, there he is. Your yeah. friends yeah. impressed me big time." Yes, I said, yeah. "Because hey, if I, that man had told me, hey, all the rest of you want to come to this house again, come on down there and get your butt whooping." So that's it, and five right there. That's uh, Burley and W E Red Dog Phillips in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Burley got a look about him right there, son. Mm. Burley's got Burley's shit. always had a look anyways, about him. Anyways, uh, W.E. done sort of let himself go a little bit, <laughs> to put it mildly. And <laughs> Phil says he's he's the only man he's ever seen that can put a plate of food on his belly and eat off of it. And it's perfectly it flat. stays level. It stays level, and it does not it's move. It's like a table. It's like a table. Yeah, it's like a table. Yeah, he can I, cut a steak up, everything else. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Cut the steak. He used two hands, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. and oh, the yeah. plate never moves. So yeah. he's got that going for him. But he also is a what I call he has the gift of gab. He comes up with some things, <laughs> he does that. Uh, hey. and you would never think somebody like that oh. could be that witty, but. I come up with this new duck call. This is there he is. There he is right there. That's right the there. perfect photo. That's right. Yeah, that's yep. a good one. That's it. That's him. That's him right there. That's the updated version. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Red dog Philip. Oh, so he's he, killed a many of them. Hey, what he, are you he's about? one of them. But I come up with this duck call, the Phil Robertson Pro Series, yeah. and I sent one to him. I said, "What'd you think?" He said, "Hey, that thing has reverb on the milk down." Huh? And, hey, this is the he's telling the people that built these calls, and he's using terminology that we, we had no idea what he was talking about. So I had to think about it. What does <laughs> reverb reverb on, on the, the milk? milk down. What does that mean? Yeah. I, translation, so please. I ca- I went hunting the next morning. I was sitting next to Jason. I, <laughs> I told him what we said, and he said reverb on the milk down. So he looked up. Reverb. Reverb, which is reverberate, which 
means? What does reverberate mean? We're Johnny talking D? about guitars and amps here now. Yeah, right. reverb's like <laughs> feedback. <laughs> Feed, yeah. Like back, yeah. pre- back pressure. Yeah. Feedback and the milk down is high to low. Okay, high to low. Like So when you're blowing a duck call, you reduce your air. You start out with some good pressure, and when you get down to the lower notes, you have right. less. You got to turn a reverb mm-hmm. down. Less pressure. Right. But this one turns out it. It holds that reverb all the way to the last to the milk down. note. That's right. To so, the it, milk in other down. words, it takes very little air to make the reeds harmonize. Do what it's supposed Is to that, do. So that's the newest. That's the, yep. that's the newest. New volume. Thing. Phil Robertson Pro Series. I like the black one a little bit better, but uh, oh yeah, it's got Excuse reverb me. on the milk down. It wasn't bad manners. It's good teeth. Good so tea. And we also apologize because it was bad manners. Oh, no. It Y'all want to hear it? You wanna, yes. Have I you was, heard it, Si? I was about to say, yeah. give the people. Y'all get that? Reverb on the milk Reverb down. Reverb on the milk. That's the proof of it right there. You hear that? Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. I hear the reverb. That's, right. That's the reverb on the milk down. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it that's it boys hey he nailed it i don't know about you guys that be a but that sounds home. just like a duck that sounds that's exactly that like a duck <laughs> that is her that's the goal yeah that's impressive reverb on the meltdown there's yeah. reverb on that meltdown right. you should put that on the package Tell i know it cost too much and and put you know you gotta you gotta give <laughs> we credit for it yeah W uh, yeah that the package Phillips. needs to say that reverb this call has reverb on the meltdown yeah. W E Phillips have a picture of him holding it that's right W E with the plate of steak on his belt <laughs> <That's right. laughs> he's the only man I ever seen that could do that though oh yeah anybody else if you put a plate on and start cutting up a steak you fix to have you know whatever you got on your plate in your lap that's you've it. seen him do it oh uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> Look, I've seen him. Hey, I'm beauty. talking about you know the steak was covering the plate. Oh, he's hilarious. Have we ever oh, had yeah. him on here? No, we need in to have ninety eight episodes. Yeah. We've never had nope. W E. Nope. He needs to never have had him. On yeah, he needs. Next yeah. time he's in town, he needs to That's be right. on. Because he he's got you do a pretty good impression of him. Oh, he's got plenty of stories. But he's oh, he's a strange right. character. Oh, he's strange. Well, what? you got to be strange to hang out with. Well, him. no, no. Uh, but hey, look, his dog. What was the dog's I name? I can't think of that Chase. Dog. What Va- is Chase? No. Vegas? Trace. No. Trace? No, no it was Chase or Chet. something like that. Chet. Chet. Chet, Chet Walters. Hey, look. Yeah, no, no, look. This is the only dog that I know, okay? If you go in and get in a deer stand, tree stand, that dog could climb in the stand with you. He could. He could climb he could ladders. Climb you talking about a you talking about lock on? I'm or? talking about if you lock on the ladder. If you got a ladder going up a tree. That dog Bill had will climb it. That thing, like that thing I showed you this morning. <laughs> yes, sir. He would climb it. Good. I, he no, could no, climb it. It was unreal. He was a dog now. That was one of the best ones he's ever had. Well, he chained him to it because, you know, everybody talks about the dogs. Because, see, we had tree blinds. blinds we, we had duck blinds and trees. Really be able yeah. to, so, hey, the dog had they, to come up in the blind. <laughs> <laughs> Can he climb a tree with well, him? Well, you know, I, I, yeah, you know, I used to be scared of them lock ons, John. You know that. But ever, ever since we started using those hunter safety systems, yeah, those are important. I'm not scared anymore. Well, hey, no, no, you should not be Any, in a tree. I would just fix that. Anytime you climb a tree, yeah, you better you have, have your have safety yeah. rope on. Oh yeah, I you get, you get killed or get maimed, like, or you you'll be a squirrel. You now. always think, yeah. Well, oh, that's not going safety, to happen. Safety, safety first, boys. Yeah. Yep, because you should either. I'm watching a dog climb a ladder on YouTube. It is possible. Oh yeah, oh, but you do train safety first. Wear a life jacket. Wear a safety system Anytime. at all times. Anytime you're on water, have your life jacket on. Anytime you're going up in the tree, have your your be tied line, in. line tied to the tree. Where if oh, you yeah. fall, you won't fall and become a you know invalid. That's <sighs> statistic. <laughs> uh, we I just don't want you to hurt a lot yourself, of people, people that have done it and oh, oh yeah you know, so it's dangerous and hey you don't want to do that don't do not be stupid uh, no. you know take time to put a life jacket on if you're going to be on water and take time to tie yourself to a tree if you're going to be it's one of our favorite psa's because uh we don't like getting prayer requests for families whose nope. husband right. was doing what he enjoyed and then made a mistake yep. and mm-hmm. it cost him dearly so yep. on that note 
tie yourself into a tree, wear a life jacket, take a break with us. We'll be right back. Hey, and now we're back. You know what? And we haven't Christmas talked about. Christmas is gone. It's over. That's it. Christmas 2021 has come and gone. You will now, be Now, what we got coming up is we got the new year. 2022. Are you, you going to stay up till midnight? No. <laughs> hey, I ain't ring. I ain't ring. I ain't ring. I had the go. rubber band war. So you're not staying up to watch the ball drop? Or, that's no. at 11. Oh, uh, the rubber barely, bands are flying. Barely missed it, boys. Barely missed it. We're pretending it's the new year. Oh, <laughs> there it is. My gong that's saved me. Happy New oh, yeah. Year. There was the gong. Got him, boys. So that's pretty good, Godwin. Does anyone have? Oh, two oh. in a row. Set uh -oh. it back up. Put it back we're up, Ty. Si. Now we're just playing right. games. Oh, uh oh. Welcome to the duck call room. Uh oh, look at this. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Dong. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> We've lost control, people. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Do y'all right. have any New Year's resolution? <laughs> Does anyone have a New Year's resolution they would like to share? So I, I, I don't make them. them. You don't make them? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, hey, look. I told y'all last on the last podcast. The uh, Bump Line Special, Wild Earth, Long Barrel 45. Mm -hmm. We used mm -hmm. to have them and we. He's on the rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't make New Year's resolutions? No. It's no. The, the only resolution. All right, let's do. take a quick break because no, this no, segment's no, no. over. Here's what? what I do. Okay, tell us. I've lived 2021. Okay. And when 22 gets here, I'm going to try to be a better person than I was in 2021. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's okay. a good goal. Yeah. So that's all I do is I try to live a better life yeah. that year. Be a up. little bit better than you were yeah, the year before. Right. A little bit better. Mo try better. to leave this planet a little bit better, better shape. And a little better shape. That's well, right. I, I bet you you can pull that off. You seem to be the man that can do right. that. I Goblin, thought, you got anything? I'm going to try to catch all the crappie in Darbone Lake. Please, please. <laughs> Every one of them. Please don't, because I'll no longer have a job. Uh, hey, all of them. Hey, he's going to catch, if he's gonna catch all, all of them. them. That's like, you know, I took my youngest daughter fishing. We caught about 10 mm -hmm. ice brim out of Willie's Pond. And uh, I said, it's time to go. Are you ready? She said, I want to keep fishing. I yeah, said, well, good night. How many you want to catch? She said, all of them. All, all of them. All of them. I said, yeah. good night. She got a lot of Robertson in her. <laughs> she I ain't got, got a bad no. I How many you want to kill? That. All of them. Yeah. You hadn't thought about I it? I hadn't thought about setting a goal. Oh. You need to set a goal. Has Jace caught all the fish out of Willie's Pond? Pretty no. much. Pretty much. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. I hadn't fished. I think I could go out there right now with that salt and pepper jig. Throw it down there and just about the time you get to right there. One of them Boop. crappie magnets. Yeah. You show That's it. Yep, I was that there. thing grows fish. Yeah. yeah. Well, Every time you put just... it in the water, it turns into a crappie. Thank you. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just go over and That's about see what you can do, sir. Just si. sign it. I may come over this afternoon then. He's coming. Yeah. Bring, tell, hey, tell me when. I'll meet you. Bring your backpack, uh, after will you? Six. Bring my oxygen with me, boys. Yeah. Hey. It's a little bit of a walk. I, th I ain't. Hey, no, I'm going to drive your uh, go-kart down there. I ain't walking. <laughs> I ain't got no go-kart. <laughs> hey, yeah, you do. You got one of them golf cart things. Oh, it don't work. It's out oh, of hey, commission. Hey, put it on, on uh, charge the battery on it while it, I drive it down it, Batteries are gone. Well, then I'm Come driving. get my golf that, cart. I, so. I'm going to drive my truck then. He's gonna drive his truck to Willie's Pond. That's right. I'm gonna you gonna get stuck. That, that's gonna pond. go over about like a turd in a punch. Well, hey, that's all it is. To it. Hey, I may be banished from the property because <laughs> I'm driving my truck down there to the edge of the bank. Oh, you wow. Stone, you got anything? <laughs> what a New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution. Uh, well, I would like. I'm kind of like Sai. I try to improve myself every year a little bit. Of course, you can reflect. And see where you need improvement, and be honest about it. Mm -hmm. As uh, mm -hmm. as as a human, you know, he, I tend to have, I guess, what you would call selfish tendencies. As a human being, I have a good friend of mine named named Jeff. I always tell John. I told John the other day, I want to be more like Jeff. Man, that'd be so. And this guy, that's if you, a good, that's every, a good, everybody has a friend like Jeff. If I you don't, I, you need to go find one. Go find your Jeff. Because yep. yeah, this guy is 
The awesome. def- definition of selfless. Yeah, he's awesome. Okay, Always Kerry. worried about others yep. instead of himself. And I want to be more like that guy. I want to f- uh, do more for other people than for myself. That's a good one. Well, you're well on your way, sir. <clears throat> that's that's my. That's my. S- yeah, I would say you've helped okay. me out this year yeah. in the form of yep. thirty pounds in the last few months, <laughs> um, and just being encouraging as well as. Self analyzation is is rough. Most people are yeah. not. Most yeah. people are not honest with themselves. So yeah. so, yeah. so yeah. mine kind of goes with that. So mine's more of like a new month resolution, but it's going to lead into the new. So I'm gonna. I think I'm going to do it. I've been considering it. In January, I'm going to delete everything from my phone that's not phone and text message. If I I just want to communicate, I don't need so, like, delete facebook delete insta just delete oh, yeah. it all delete any like little puzzle game that you play when you're sitting on the toilet and if you want if you need to do that fine go get on sit down at a desk and yeah. do it but get and then i just i don't even want to look at my phone because i'm not on call anymore like i when That's i'm right. at work i'm yeah. at work well your previous job you, i needed my phone you had to have yeah it. yeah now I, I, I for the first time ever i can go throw this thing wherever i want and leave it for a month the black box. I can just put it yeah. up. Like, I used to need to have it. So now I'm thinking, like, and it's created stuff in me where, like, I'll, I won't even be paying attention. I'm just doing a puzzle or something stupid. And I'm like, I think I just want to delete all that and, like, retrain myself. Like, this is, uh, my phone is not for entertainment. Right. It's for calling and communicating to others. That's well, right. please don't break it. I'm glad me. these things do not work for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Oh. Because, hey, I'm serious. Because if the deal is, hey, they're more trouble than they're worth. Yep, they get you in trouble. Okay, they really. Are. Hey, are you a young person today can get in serious trouble with one of these things? Oh yeah. So okay, and really, if it's important, okay, <clears throat> you know where I live. <laughs> yeah, come see me now, if it's important. Otherwise, get in the know, truck and drive over. Like, somebody's yeah. gonna show no, up. No, no. Hey, the slang term is okay. It's called street lingo. Okay, <laughs> you know. And tell them, okay, can you talk to talk? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but hey, do you walk to talk too? Walk to walk. Yeah, yeah. Well, walk to talk too. <laughs> you know, if you go, if you go run your mouth, then hey, you you both better be able to back it up and uh, walk to walk. That's it. I'm looking at all the things. But anyway, yeah, you know, and, and but it's a good thing, like you're talking about. Yeah. If so you phones don't are have important. to have it. Oh yeah. But you can you can lose yourself in it, and then you look up, and it's like, oh man, I spent that much time on my phone. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm about to just. Well, number one, the month I, of January, I'm axing the thing. I, yeah. Number one, I've never, I, you know, I've never called myself a conversationalist. <laughs> I don't know what they do. Talk, you know, what have you got to talk that all the time? Well, yeah, Robert. I see people driving down the highway and they're talking on the phone. They look. There's at nothing it. in in my life that uh, important. I saw something on the way back, uh, on the way here. There was a guy wearing a mask, sitting on the passenger side, <laughs> with his hand on the steering wheel. It was going about sixty in a thirty-five. <laughs> he was driving doing this. No, no, that's with a, a mask on. No, no, that's, no that's always tickled me. Okay, there wasn't when no I, driver. When I, no, no. Well, I'm sure it was a driver. Right. But that's it, always tickled me when I'm driving down the road and I see one person in a vehicle and 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 that person has got his mask on. Oh yeah. You know, I, I don't get it. Okay. Well, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't either. You're by yourself, why are you wearing a mask? You're a threat to yourself. Uh, you know, are you that scared of yourself? These, these people have gone slap me nuts. <laughs> you know, I'm serious, I don't get it. Anyways, I saw that today, and I thought, "Boy, I have seen some things." But that that right there is. And he was really probably something. on his cell phone too. Probably. So. Oh, he was had cell phone yeah. like this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I get on his shoulder. So oh, hey, well, what I don't understand about everybody getting one of these things, they never talk on them. This is called a cell phone. Look at that beautiful family. They oh. never talk on them. Okay, they only text. Yeah, yeah. they write letters on them. Oh. Now I yeah, am like it's a, that. It's a it's a typewriter is what it is. Okay, yeah. and when you're driving, well, I don't do you that. Know, don't be typing on the phone. Okay, <laughs> well, off the side of the road, please. 
I think we as a society, yeah. that I'm driving, everything aside, put your phone down anyway. Right. I, I saw a picture the other day. It was of some golf tournament. <laughs> and it was like 1995 and everybody's watching. And it's like 2019 or something. And everybody's holding their phone up, recording what's... I'm like... And they're all looking at the world through their phone. And I'm... You know what? I've had enough of it. I've yeah. had enough. I'm getting rid of it. I, I'm going to go pick it up after this. How did we ever survive without them? Yeah, shockingly, we did. Just when I was fine. in high school, I had a, a, a phone in a bag with a cord on it. <laughs> a bag phone. A bag yeah. phone. Used to, you, had to carry, you used to have to carry change in your pocket, yeah. okay, and then go to a phone booth. I'm, I don't well, it wasn't for Superman the, back in the day. The only the time I ever used a pay phone, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to call 911 from Walmart, but I didn't oh. pay for it. And I learned a valuable lesson that day. Pay phones, 911 did not require uh, a quarter. Mm -hmm. I got in trouble. <laughs> well, I'm sure yeah. you did. Yep. Fake 911 calls. Anyway, there's some New Year's resolutions for you. Hey, let us know what yours is. Uh, I think we might have one other episode right after New Year's. Well, we're definitely going to have one right after New Year's or before New Year's. So let us know what's your New Year's resolution. Maybe we'll talk about it on the podcast. And we're going to take a quick break and get back to hello at duckcallroom.com emails and find right out, after this. And find out what's in the box. We got some advice questions. Y'all want to get into them? We're in that email bag. We're in that side. email. So, hey, here's the deal. Some of you can't figure out the email. They say we they can't find where to find it. Listen, right now, it's hello at duckcallroom.com. Email me. I promise I'll read it. I don't promise I'll read it on the show. But if it's interesting or I find it funny, I will. My man JJ from Orchard, Texas, he emailed in this week, and he said, Subject line is tough question. Mm, tough question. I like tough questions. Okay. Well, here's a good one question before you do. Are you ready for a tough answer, maybe? Oh. oh I right. like that, sir. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. Tough question. He struggles a lot with. Uh, nope. I got something I'm struggling a lot with. He doesn't struggle a lot, but he's struggling with this a lot. He considers himself fairly educated in the faith and very positive about who his Savior is, but he struggles a lot with perfectionism. How do I find the right perspective on making sure I'm having a relationship with Christ and not strictly religion and get the right balance between worshiping Jesus as my Savior and remembering God as my loving Father? He's trying to be perfect. Huh. Well... That's, that's that's a, a very easy answer for this, okay? There was not but one perfect human being, and that would be who we're worshiping. That would be Jesus himself, okay? We will never attain that, okay? That's not to say we shouldn't strive to do that, but that's why he is the greatest human being that's ever been on this planet okay because he was perfect yet he doesn't require us to be that way that's the reason he came down to this earth okay and look that's the only way Sy Robertson is ever going to have righteousness okay Jesus my savior and lord gives me some of his that's the only way the Father can stand to look at me, okay? Because I will never attain it in and of myself, and I'll hush. <laughs> yep. Yep, well, was. just think about it. He knew how we were going to act down here, and he came anyway. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm, I, for one, am glad he did. Oh, yeah. I'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, Oh, for sure. <laughs> I would be without a boat and without a paddle. That's it. Yeah. In the middle okay. of the water. In Nam. <laughs> yeah. In, yeah, in, in Nam. a creek in yeah. Nam somewhere. Yeah, yeah perfectionism is a weird thing because we do try and you're, – you're striving to be perfect, but when you get caught up thinking that that's what it's all about, mm -hmm. you miss it. Because that's whenever – I know in my life you start comparing yourself to others, not even people better than you. Sometimes you're comparing yourself to them – you're comparing yourself, well, at least I'm not that guy. And so that was always, whenever I was trying to like yeah. follow rules and be perfect and do this, this, and this right, I, I found myself in a 
judgmental state, like, at least I'm not doing this. And so then you're always comparing yourself rather than just saying, here's what I am. It's ugly. It's not perfect. It's messed up. That's why my favorite two verses is John 3, 16 and 17. And the most important one, both of them are important. But to me, you said it, okay? Judgmental, okay? 17, John three seventeen says, if the Savior of the world, that would be Jesus, came down and he did not judge us, because he's qualified, okay? <laughs> he's qualified, boy. He's qualified. Okay. I like yeah, that. Well, no, no. Okay, but if he didn't judge us, Hey, don't you ever get in the judgment business. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and you said it about mm -hmm. you call you you catch yourself saying, Oh, I but I'm not as bad as he is. But the bad thing, the good thing is, hey, and Jesus came down because we we are not perfect and we never will be. But he was, and that's the reason that what he did, he's the only one that could have done it. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So stop. So that's the cool perfect. part. You ain't gonna be perfect. Yep. Why try? Yep. Not gonna happen. Not gonna yep. happen. So All right. Know what you are. You know what? Uh, Chris Christopherson wrote the song, and he <laughs> said, "I know what I am," which is a sinful man. He was a pretty good actor too. Well, no, no, yeah, but he wrote the song, which was good. What, Lord, why me? Yeah. You know, what did I ever do? Well, hey, you could never do enough. That's why Jesus is the greatest human being that will ever live on this planet, okay? Because he was perfect, and all wells will be. And he loved us enough to come down. He did. Yep. All right, you got another one? I got another one. All right, this one's, this one's kind of sticky, too. And sticky. I'm going with this one because it was just the holidays. You might have been around your in-laws mm. and things of that nature. So, Emily, I'm not going to say where you're from, Emily, in case your mother-in-law is listening, uh, <laughs> or future mother-in-law. Her and her boyfriend have been together for almost a year, plan on getting married next November. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yep. They really love each other. They're telling everybody it's going to happen. But here's the deal. Yep. His mom still treats him like a baby, and it's kind of making her uncomfortable. She says he's cute, kisses him on the head and stuff. Let's just be honest, it's kind of creeping her out. Her words, not mine. He still is at home right now, so maybe that's the reason why. She's talked to him about it. He's like, yeah, but he doesn't want to tell his mom. Uh, but her mom, His mom's a super sweet lady, right? Uh, so, and they don't really, they're not like the Robertson family who will just tell you how it is. She specifically <laughs> said that. They're kind of, you know, more reserved. Uh, so she doesn't know what she needs to should she tell her husband to say something should she say something i'm gonna go ahead and say you probably shouldn't say something um but she needs life advice on question her mama's boy boyfriend <laughs> all right now here's the thing. question how old are you young man and how old is the girl's mother she's 20 i don't know how old her boyfriend is and i don't know how old but i mean that's because look if she's in her 40s or something and you're like in your 20s, <laughs> you may be a baby to her, okay? Oh, well, you're it always It may not baby, be detrimental, but... okay? What did she say? Kiss him in the forehead? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. so I'm a bona fide 100% mama's boy from yeah. way back. Me too. Yeah. Everybody okay. knows it. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I ain't yeah. trying to get around it. But there is there does come a time where my mom had to step back and, you know, I'm now married and you got to figure that out. Every time I see my mother, I give her a hug and she kisses me on the cheek. There's nothing wrong with that. And I am not a mama's boy, <clears throat> but I love <laughs> my mother. I'm not. A and there's nothing wrong no. with, with the guy's mother kissing him on the forehead. I mean, oh. mm -mm. that's just something that maybe turn the mirror around and look at it. Well, no, no, cause I, I don't know. And when you have kids, now, it, it could be something more than that. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. That's 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 a. That's but that's one of them things. Like, okay, a lot of people are not what I call huggers. Yeah. Okay. The, the and Robertsons that, and, are not known. Well, for no, no. Huggers. Well, see, I am. You are. You're He's the only one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because like Phil, you ain't first never time. Me. Hey. Well. Well. Hey. Look. But I am. But I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The lady may just love you and, and, you know, 
Well, she yeah. loves her son. Well, no. Which all mamas do, and all mamas' boys are treated like. That's part of being in love be, with the mama's boy. Be, no, but Stone said it, okay. Family. There may be something else there, yeah, but for sure. you may be making something out that's not there. That's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, who knows? Yeah. I mean, we don't know enough details. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think you're doing the right thing because you've talked to your boyfriend about it. Yeah. Um, and you just need to figure it out. You know, you, yeah. here's the deal. If you're going to marry this man... You are marrying his mother, too. Because- Do not make enemies with the mother in law. Hey, hey, you want her as a friend. Because guess right. who was at my house <laughs> for about five hours after I was at her house for about five hours yesterday? My mother in law. We're mm. good friends. We made coffee together. We sat and talked. But if I would have got all sour about something she did. 11 years ago it wouldn't have been near as nice christmas 2021 so remember whatever you do now affects christmas day 2034 that's right and you know what it ain't worth it it ain't worth it emily well hey i think that's all we got time for today that was a fun one all right i enjoyed being with you guys martin i think we'll be back on the next one but i got us a bible verse all right all right what are you gonna send us psalms 51 10 and 11 for the new year Here's your good verse. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. It's a good time to renew some things. Right. The best thing you can renew is your relationship yep, with, with the Almighty. Father. Yeah. See y'all next time. Yeah. Maybe next year. I don't even know. Be safe out there, folks. Be safe. Be safe.